it's time that Pennsylvanians come together to address this. It's too important to not address it. It's a question on many people's minds. How is social media impacting kids and teenagers? For Pennsylvania lawmakers, the answer to that question is troubling. Today, the federal government is also sounding the alarm. Yeah, the U.S. Surgeon General issuing a warning and calling on everybody to make social media a safe place for kids. Sonica Bargo joins us now with how this impacts the mid-state. Sonica. Alicia Dennis, in his advisory, Surgeon General Dr. Vivek Murthy says we don't have all the information yet, but there's growing evidence social media is harmful to kids' mental and physical health. Here in Pennsylvania, that evidence has already driven some lawmakers to action. We're not going to wait around for the federal government to act. Mid-state Senator Kristen Phillips-Hill says the Surgeon General's warning about social media didn't surprise her. I have continued to hear these challenges um, from from parents, parents who've lost their children to suicide. According to Dr. Vivek Murthy's advisory, almost half of teens say social media makes them feel worse. The Surgeon General adds studies have shown excessive social media use can lead to depression and eating disorders. You can never get away from it. That phone is with children all the time. Phillips Hill is already working on a solution, teaming up with Philadelphia Democrat Vincent Hughes. Their bill would place age restrictions on social media accounts and give parents more control on what their kids can access. Parents need to be empowered um, to protect their kids. We have to find ways and guidelines on how we can help systematically teach our young people how to use this. Psychologist Melissa Brown has seen social media's impact on teens' mental health firsthand. Depression, anxiety being the two, the top two diagnoses. She says parents need to be involved. If we expect teens to not always be on social media, we need to show them that we're not always on social media as well. She and Phillips Hill say social media can be a positive tool. Many of the platforms that kids can access today they're great. But there's a dark side, and it's not going anywhere. It's kind of Pandora's box, and, you know, it's now been opened, and we can't put it back in. So the time to act is now. It's too important to not address it. Now, in that advisory, the Surgeon General also called on lawmakers as well as technology companies and parents to work together to make social media platforms safer for kids. Phillips Hill says that's exactly what she's doing. She and Senator Hughes plan to introduce a final draft of their bill in June. In the studio, Sonica Barco, ABC 27 News. All right, Sonica, an important issue.